Supporters and opponents of former U.S. President Donald Trump rallied outside Trump Tower in Manhattan, New York in response to his criminal conviction. Trump lashed out in rambling, angry comments during a speech he billed as a press conference. The 77-year-old Republican, who is neck and neck with President Joe Biden in the 2024 White House race, confirmed he would appeal against the verdict, which he branded a scam after what he called a very unfair trial that made him the first former president to become a convicted felon. In an extraordinary 35-minute rant of insults, non-factual claims and non-sequiturs reflecting his seething anger, Trump attacked the judge as a tyrant who crucified witnesses. He left without taking questions. Biden's campaign described Trump as confused, desperate and defeated, saying this man cannot be president. Trump frequently veered off topic, attacking Biden and illegal immigrants, claiming a lot of people released from prisons were entering the country, aided by Biden and fascists destroying America. A jury found Trump guilty on all 34 charges of falsifying business records to hide a hush money payment meant to silence porn star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. Sentencing is set for July 11, days before the Republican convention where Trump is due for the party's nomination. Though the verdict doesn't prevent Trump's election bid, it casts the already tense contest into unpredictable waters. His campaign claimed to have raised $34.8 million after portraying him as a political prisoner. In addition to the New York case, Trump faces three more serious indictments over trying to overturn his 2020 election loss and mishandling classified documents. Biden has been cautious about making Trump's legal troubles an election issue to avoid claims of meddling in the justice system.